out here in lovely Vegas, this side of the Strat. Today we're going to be putting a sub panel out here on an apartment building. Nice brakes on that bus too, by the way. Uh, on this apartment building. Uh, so we're going to do a couple laundry circuits. So I'm going to walk you through what we're doing. Uh, first thing first, we got to, uh, we have to get this KO out of there. That ought to be fun. KO, we're going to come over and step into the building with a couple of condu conduit fittings. So I'll show you that in a second. Here we go. First thing we do is figure out which ones to knock out. So these are bare to get at, but I need just about all of them to get that to fit snugly in there. It's an inch and a quarter. We're doing a hundred amp. So we're using copper wire, but that's gonna be about an inch and a quarter for that. I'm going a little bigger, why not? Okay, now, what a bear taking out that knockout. Now we're gonna spin this into our LR. So LB would be, if this conduit fitting has a fitting come out in the back, LB. So now it goes to the right or to the left, looking at it. LR so I can access the wire coming in. So next is to spin that baby right in there. That connector. I'd like to use a close nipple with a bonding bushing. I just have, haven't got the room for it. So I'm using this, but you got to bond it on at least one side. So that's what I'm going to do on the inside. Okay. The next step is to center my LB. Remember, it's an L. Goes to the back, LB. So I'm going to get a center of that. I can't do it with a, one hand, but from inside connector. Inside of that connector, we're looking at seven inches. These are weatherproof connectors because, huh, well, we're out in the weather. So, next, cut that pipe and get myself indoors. Since this is a bear to get to, to get the pipe in, because of our channel lock here, in the room, we simply spin it out to where we can get it, loosen up that weather tight connector, conduit in there. it up nothing to it same thing with the other side spit it in there then when we're done we're simply gonna just push it back in the hole easy enough okay okay now I'll give you a glance of what I'm doing here nice what we're gonna do is uh, take a measurement from inside the connector to inside that LB uh, there's a lip where the pipe stops, and there's gonna be a lip right inside that LB. I don't have to worry about that connector. I know where it's going. That's gonna be the outside of the panel. So it's looking like I've got nine and a half inches, and that's gonna be my nipple. That's gonna get us right to the back of the piano. Piano. Get us right to the back of the panel, and then we're gonna surface mount this. Nice. Okay, finally got that pipe through the wall. Now what do we do? Well, we got the panel. We got them got a mount there it is so I think I'm gonna come in this side here and knock this this uh, knockout out the center one minimums a inch and a quarter so that's good so I knocked that one out all I have is one knockout to knock out and then uh, mount it on the wall Shit, then we're ready for wire quick and easy okay we got our wires pulled in Land them under the 100 amp breaker and energize the two buses panel didn't happen to have the two logs. I would have just put it in the logs, but no big deal. Um, neutral bar. It had a, uh, a bonding screw. Here it is. Had a bonding screw in it. But since it's a sub-panel, we separate the neutrals and the ground, so you take that out. So in essence, these are both a neutral bar, and I have to put a separate ground bar in now. So now what we do, though, we have our bonding bushing. Strip it out. Put it inside our bonding lug. Since I'm one-handed, I'll shoot. Put it inside our bonding lug, and then we go down to our uh, our grounding bar because we're bonding all the equipment together. So it's all bonded, grounded, whatever you want to call it, but it's bonded. So that's why we're doing that. So uh, this has a screw that set screw that bites into the threads of the nipples going through, and it goes back to the ground bar. Uh, on the main side, so yep, that's about almost it for this panel. Okay, service installed. All right, got my neutral in. 
bonding screws out, got my ground in. Yes, I use black. I don't have a big roll of number eight green. So I just put green tape. So all you gotta put, it's up to code. Some might whine. No, you gotta have to. Hey, just do what I say, not as I say. <laughs> all right, that's a wrap for today. Just wanted to explain though, uh, why we don't need a ground um, at a sub panel because the, the primary service is already grounded. It, it, it's grounded all the, down here. I don't know if you can see it. It's grounded up to the main disconnect. Um, everything's already grounded out here. So just like your service at home when you have your ground rods or you're bonded, that's your primary service. You don't need to drive a ground rod for the sub panel. It's already in there. It's already in the disconnect. So we connected from the disconnect, the ground in here, to the bonding bushing, onto the, the grounding bar in the panel. So everything's bonded together. It's grounded down to earth and you're good. So that's it for uh, putting in a sub panel. Uh, so thanks for watching. Appreciate you. I'm just going to continue roasting out here in Vegas. I don't know about going to do because, you know, I don't gamble and then you might. And then there's beer there. So I just stay away. Maybe a taco. All right. Take care. Like, subscribe. Appreciate you.